In this video, I want to show you how you can work with red footage inside of Premiere Pro. You may think at first it's just footage, you just import it and it kind of works. And that's kind of true, but there are a couple of things that you can do to get the most out of your experience and to improve your workflow. So we're going to go over importing the footage, connecting proxies, and editing the raw right inside of Premiere. First of all, let's take a look at what we got on our clips. Each clip has its own folder. Inside of the folder, it's gonna be a various number of things depending on your camera setup. So for example, this camera was recording proxies. So we have an MOV proxy file, we have our R3D file, and we may have a couple of other files. We have an RTN, you may have an RMD, your metadata file, it really depends on what you did. But in my case, I have my proxies and I have my raw all inside of one folder, and that's what it's gonna do for you as well. So here's the issue that you may have when you try and import footage. If we drag in a clip, for example, let's say we drag in this clip right here. As you can see, the file format is not supported for this RDC. So it's gonna skip that, but it's going to import the rest. And if we take a look here, we have our proxy and we have our raw. But the issue is that now every single clip we have is going to have a folder and you have to open up every single folder. That's not what we want to do. Instead we want it to look like this. This is how it is when it's properly imported. Each individual clip is displayed. You're only seeing the raw clip and we're going to attach the proxies later on. So we have our empty folder. Let's go ahead and import it the right way. So what you need to do is go into your media browser part of Premiere inside of the clip view. So we go here and we'll go ahead and find our files. And right away, you can see it does a little bit of processing and it brings up these images. We also have this blue eye right here, the directory viewers, and this is what's really gonna be helpful. If we go to file directory, you can see we have all of our folders for the raw clips. But if we go ahead and select red, which will automatically default to, going to dig through that and find all of the R3D clips. All of them right there. Now when it comes to importing them, you just right click on whatever you want and say import. That'll import it into your bin. And as you can see there, we have our clip right there. Now let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to attach our proxy. Our clip right here has a proxy an MOV that we're gonna to want to connect. 8K, very high resolution, not super great to edit on. So we're gonna do a 1080p proxy. The camera recorded all of them. So we're gonna go ahead and connect it. It's pretty simple. Just select all of your clips, just select them all at once. And then we'll right click on it and then say proxy, attach proxies. Now you're gonna have a whole list of clips. And in my case, I just have this one right now. But we're gonna hit attach. And you're gonna look at the name that it's saying attached to. So we're looking for A001 clip two. So we have a whole list of clips right here and we're gonna find A001 clip two. And then you're going to select your proxy. So this one's the MOV right here, this is R3D. Now, even though we are inside of the clip two folder, it's going to search through every single folder in the same way for all of your other clips. By telling it where this one proxy is, it's going to get a pattern and it's going to find all the other ones. So even though I'm giving it the proxy for clip two, it's gonna search through all of these other R3D folders and find the proxies in each of these individual folders. So you don't have to give it to any proxy individually and you don't have to pull the proxies out of the folder either. It's gonna search through every single folder. So that's pretty nice. We hit okay it's going to attach all of your proxies right there. And now we can add it in a little bit better of a resolution. So we're editing this sequence right here and we're editing on proxies. So let's go ahead and figure out how we're going to go ahead and edit the raw. If we click on the clip and we click on master, you can see we have all of our cameras, metadata, and all of our raw settings to change. Let's say I change the white balance down and give it a little bit of a cooler look. Well, this didn't change at all. Why? Because we're viewing the proxy. What you change on your raw clip's not gonna change the proxy if you have them attached. So in order to see those changes, we go down here and we disable our proxy and then take a couple of seconds and then the changes update. That's much better of a color, looks nicer, and that is how you can change that. So if you make a change, just know that you need to turn off your proxy if you wanna see it. And this is also how you edit your metadata inside of Premiere Pro. And when you're done, you can turn it back on. It will go back to the old color, but you will know that you have changed it. 
So anyway, that's the basics of working with red raw clips inside Premiere Pro, how to import them, how to connect proxies, and how to edit the raw metadata inside of Premiere. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comment section. If this helped you out, feel free to leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I'll see you in the next one.